Are you looking for the best camera for YouTube? In this video, we will break down the top cameras for YouTube on the market. Before we get started with our video detailing the best cameras for YouTube, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out. Starting off at number 1, we have the Canon G7X Mark II. Unlike the EOS series, the G7X is very handy and is the best vlogging camera in the video. Its handy cam reminiscent design makes it really compact and easy to handle. The camera body is made up of metal that feels really sturdy and has a matte finish on top. The body also has some grip that makes them fit perfectly and makes sure the camera doesn't slip out of your hand. You get a total of four rotary dials on the camera. One is a mode dial, under which you will see an exposure compensation dial. Then there is a ring or dial around the lens that could be used to control various functions. And then there is the last dial on the backplate. The G7X Mark II can record up to 8 frames per second at continuous shooting, which is better than the EOS 80D. The ability to record videos at 8 frames per second helps capture fast-moving objects easily, whether you are shooting wildlife, fast action sports, or any other quick motion content. As compared to the G7, G7 Mark II comes with good improvements in terms of autofocus. Under autofocus options, you get to select between two options, servo AF and one shot. You can also set the focus manually from the 3.0 inch LCD touchscreen. The camera also comes with a Canon HS system, which helps in capturing bright and beautiful videos. Adding to this, the 4.2x 1.8-2.8 optical zoom lens, you now get to maximize the content in your frame with swift precision. The camera can record up to 1080p full HD videos at 60 frames per second. 4K video is not supported, but that's actually not needed in a point-and-shoot camera. In case you need 4K in a point-and-shoot camera, do check out the Panasonic Lumix FC80 on our list. You do get built-in NFC and Wi-Fi, allowing you to share videos seamlessly, as well as control the camera remotely through your mobile phone. At number 2, we have the Panasonic Lumix FC80. The Lumix FC80 is by far the best 4K camera for amateur YouTubers or any individual looking for a camera on a budget, partially due to its 4K functionality, but also as a result of everything else that truly makes this camera a worthy addition to this list. On the top of the camera body, there's an option to enable movie mode, which when enabled, gives you full creative control over how your final video will look. This is a really handy feature on the FC80, when ordinarily, you don't get such level of imaginative controls on any camera at an entry-level price range. The camera easily beats out the similarly priced competition in the zoom department, with its 60x zoom capability. While some photos when zoomed into the max might appear a little structured, we can truly appreciate the overall zoom function that Panasonic has added in. Along with the zoom, the camera comes with a 20mm lens, substantial enough to capture a wide range of imagery. The camera also offers amazing image stabilization that aids in taking better shots and creating better recordings. The Lumix FC80 comes with an ergonomic grip, which makes it fit flawlessly in your hands. Its viewfinder is clear even in bright sunlight. On the top, you get a dedicated button allowing you to instantly turn on the 4K video mode, thus making it quite easy to make a switch between regular and 4K modes. One thing that could disappoint some users is the type of display added to the camera. It's a non-articulating display, which means you cannot adjust it per your preference. You have to get down to the level of the screen to do the monitoring. In a nutshell, you get unbelievable value for money. The camera records some really high quality videos and pictures at great resolution. Apart from 4K, you can shoot 1080p videos at 30 frames per second, and you can shoot 720p HD slow-mo videos at 120 frames per second. Overall, the Lumix FC80 is a great YouTube camera for beginners. At number 3, we have the Canon EOS 80D. Overall, the EOS 80D is one of the best cameras for YouTube that you can get. The 3.0 inch articulating touchscreen makes it super easy to focus with an easy tap. The battery life is satisfactory and will not be an issue even if you are out shooting for multiple hours. The 80D is not much different than 70D in terms of design and control placement. On top, you get direct controls to ISO, drive, autofocus mode and metering. The body is built of sturdy plastic with leather covering at a few places for providing an ergonomic grip. The intelligent viewfinder on the EOS 80D provides a comprehensive and bright view, taking out all the guesswork with 100% coverage, allowing you to get the right show at the right time. While the absence of 4K could be a letdown, the EOS 80D produces excellent 1080p FHD videos. The camera is capable of shooting 1080p videos at 60 frames per second in MP4 format with standard IPB compression, an MOV format at 30 frames per second and 24 frames per second respectively. The autofocus on the camera EOS 80D is brilliant. The dual pixel CMOS autofocus delivers fast and accurate focus while shooting videos. Dual pixels work like a charm with video recording, helping you achieve a natural and precise focus even when shooting fast action videos. 
Furthermore, you get a 45-point cross-type autofocus system with a full-frame sensor, which is fantastic. The autofocus points are really fast and accurate. The camera comes with a headphone jack. This allows you to monitor audio levels while recording videos and adjust the audio levels without having to look at audio graphs on a separate screen. In terms of wireless connectivity, the Canon EOS 80D comes integrated with Wi-Fi and NFC for seamless sharing of photographs and videos to your mobile phone, tablet, or any other Wi-Fi or NFC-enabled device. When it comes to low light performance on the EOS 80D, the camera features a wide ISO range of ISO 100 to 12800, which helps the camera perform brilliantly in low light conditions, even with no flash. The Digic 6 processor is one of the latest and fastest processors from Canon. It delivers excellent processing, full resolution, high speed continuous still shooting, and distortion connection in camera. At number 4, we have the Sony A7R II. Only one word comes to mind when trying to describe this camera. Perfection. The Sony A7R II is a keeper, with competitive power-packed features that make for a truly amazing camera. You won't feel the need to replace it for a good long while. Ideally built for professionals, this is probably the best camera you could get to create amazing, high-quality, professional content for your YouTube channel. The 35mm Exmor CMOS sensor is the world's first full-frame sensor with back-illuminated structure. The structure is made by a combination of gapless on-chip lens design and AR coating on the sensor's glass seal, along with a revolutionary no-low-pass filter to improve light collection efficiency. The AR7 II comes equipped with 4K for amazing videos, a combination of a full-frame image sensor in 4K with direct pixel readout, and no binning result in better overall video quality. Fast hybrid autofocus with 399 phase detection autofocus points and 5-axis image stabilization favors the 4K and takes movie making to another level. The focus capability of the Sony A7R II will simply blow your mind. The new full-frame image sensor makes sure that you get the highest number of focal phase detection AF points and the widest coverage possible. The fast hybrid autofocus system with an additional 25 points improves accuracy and tracking even at 5 frames per second continuous shooting 42.4 megapixel. The focus is spread across the whole frame right up to the edges instead of being clustered in the center which is a huge plus point this camera has over the other. The camera offers seamless connectivity to your mobile phone or tablet via Bluetooth or NFC with the Play Memories mobile app. This allows you to fully control your camera, frame your image using your mobile device, turn on the camera shutter or movie buttons, etc. You can also transfer videos to your mobile phone or tablet simply by one touch. The build of the AR7 II is robust, designed for reliability and a strong grip. The AR7 II also features a solidly built lens mount, allowing you to mount large lenses to the camera, which it will ultimately hold very well. The body features a matte finish that gives it a look of a premium DSLR. The Sony a7R II is also weatherproof, which means the camera is suitable for use in extreme conditions, providing the lens is weatherproof too. And for our final pick at number 5, we have the Canon EOS Rebel T6. The Canon Rebel T6 is the successor to the Rebel T5 and has the same sensor along with a whole bunch of other similarities. Comparing it to the other cameras in this list, the camera is very, very much similar to the Nikon D3300. The body of the camera is mainly made up of plastic and is very light, which means you can carry it along for the whole day without any issues. If you are looking for an excellent entry-level camera for YouTube, then look no further. The colors are bright and the 9-point autofocus is good. You also get some preloaded creative modes, which are pretty great if you try to use them. The camera comes with an 18-megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor that captures excellent quality videos at up to 1080p at 60 frames per second, which is pretty decent. The videos recorded are sharp and look pretty great. The camera is good for shooting light action shots, with its capability to record up to 3 frames per second. Talking about the autofocus system on the camera, you get a total of 9 autofocus points. This is surely not a lot of autofocus points, but looking at the price points, that's acceptable. The autofocus works well in good lighting conditions, but not too good in low lighting. Surprisingly, even at this price point, you manage to get the Digic 4 Plus image processor, which is fast and processes hefty data without any issues. The Canon Rebel T6 does not have a microphone input, which means the audio would be directly recorded from the inbuilt microphone. The inbuilt microphone is of high volume that picks up clear voice. In case you were not satisfied with it, you can always mount an external microphone and record the sound in your cell phone or other device, and then sync the audio video with your editing software. Integrated with Wi-Fi and NFC, you can create a connection between the camera and your smartphone, again giving you control of the camera right from your mobile phone. Wi-Fi and NFC capability also allow for seamless sharing of content from your camera to your phone. So that sums up our top cameras for YouTube. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.